I need you in two teams. Jimmy, can you get over here? Mike, over there. So, what do you do, Jean? I'm a teacher. Fantastic. What do you teach? P. Lois, come on in. You got a man on the scene at the moment, then? No, I haven't. Uh, you do realise that the fill our tellies with this here to distract us from what's really going on. Not everything is political. Of course it is. Here at home, there's been another big demonstration against Clause 28, which seeks to stop councils from promoting homosexuality. I've been saying this is a good idea for years. Young people have such vulnerable minds. <laughs> Tell me what fight or flight means. Fight or flight. What's wrong? You look stressed. I don't want my students on every part of my life. Every part of your life? What? If anyone found out, I'd never work again. The gay and lesbian lifestyle is not natural or normal, and it never will be. What I don't get is how two girls actually... <laughs> Just ignore them. So are you dead? I'm not talking about me. What kind of example are you setting for her? Just because I don't parade my sexuality around like a badge of honour. How is that girl ever going to learn that she has a place in this world? Or she thinks she has a place in this world. You're the one with the problem, not me. This isn't a game, Lois. It's me life. She reminded me a bit of you, you know. A deer in the headlights. I'm not a deer in the headlights, am I? Sometimes. I'm damaged. And in a way, you're not. At least you don't have to be. If I don't have to be, then why do you? 